College of Engineering and Computing at the University of South Carolina currently has roughly 106 faculty across five departments and one extra program of biomedical engineering. 2,300 students, 1,800 undergraduates and about 500 graduate students. Given that probably 70% of our graduates stay inside the state of South Carolina, we are making a major impact upon the state. I have established that the rules within the University of South Carolina if it was felt that it was of benefit to the university, I could give 100% exclusive royalty-free access to certain technologies that we're developing. That's a great asset that we have to be able to attract more industry to the state. And in the last 12 months, I have three examples where companies have come to talk to us here. And as a result, they are setting up small R&D companies within the town just so that they can work more closely with this college. This is a great time for computing, for our department, for students, for their eventual careers. There's so many exciting things happening in computing right now, involving apps for smartphones, uh, robotics, gaming. Our students are involved in senior capstone projects, and these projects are done in conjunction with local industry, oftentimes uh, very small startup companies that we're helping to nurture for the region. We're taking this whole thing about entrepreneurialism even further. We now have some entrepreneurs in residence who have office hours in the engineering and computing building uh, one day every two weeks. They encourage all faculty, students and staff to go to talk to them about their ideas. It gives an opportunity for faculty members and students to uh, come in and spend an hour with me and pitch their idea. I give them ideas on how they can market it, intellectual property strategies, uh, really just try to help them take their idea from paper and potentially it becomes a product. I see not making some of the mistakes that most uh, small companies make just because I'm able to interact with, the, uh, with people that have had the experience in starting companies and entrepreneurship in general. There's a huge number of opportunities for students to get involved in extracurricular activities. We do projects like the electric car in the background here that involve not only senior design class students, but also volunteers from across the college who say, that's a cool project, I want to work on that. And so even as freshmen and sophomores, they can get involved in the project just by volunteering. For any student that loves science and math, engineering is a great career choice because it allows you to combine these two areas. There are a lot of opportunities to create a sense of community for women engineering students. For example, we have a student chapter of the Society of Women Engineers, and this student chapter allows women from different disciplines to come together and really share their common interests. Also, we have a career center that arranges every year an Empower Her conference, and this gives our women students the chance to connect with women in industry to um, learn and get a little bit of guidance about how to balance and manage their careers. The future of the country depends on more young people pursuing careers in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. For our college, being engineering, STEM is extremely important, so outreach is a way to attract more young people into STEM careers so they can find out how exciting these careers are. If you want to become a scientist or an engineer, you need to be able to connect with your future profession. And I think it's very important for young students to come to laboratories to do cutting edge research even when they're 16 or 17, we have summer programs for research where the students come in for about eight to 10 weeks over the summer, and they participate in regular cutting edge research in the laboratory. They're teamed up with a senior graduate student and they get to work with all the equipment that the graduate students and postdoc typically use here in our laboratories. Project Leadway as curriculum developers work with schools throughout the country. It's a national organization. They provide the curriculum at no charge we became a national training center in 2000, very early on in the history of Project Lead the Way. We train between 100 and 150 teachers here each summer in the various courses that have been designed by Project Lead the Way. The University of South Carolina is in partnership with the State Department of Education Office of Career and Technology Education in delivery of Project Lead the Way in both implementation to provide funding, teacher training, counselor training. So that's a unique partnership that's not common to most states. Our college has grown 42% in terms of number of freshmen that have enrolled. A third of the students that applied last year were accepted, uh, going through orientation, had taken Project Lead the Way courses. 
Community outreach is very good and very useful for us in terms of putting our message out there in the community, exciting the kids with what they can do by doing engineering computing and also to let the legislature know that we're playing a role inside the state.